Hey FlossTube, this is Brian. Welcome back. This is my 67th FlossTube video and I plan on sharing with you what I've been working on this week. First of all, I want to welcome you. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you enjoy the things that I have to share with you. And if you are coming back, thank you for coming back and watching my videos. I really appreciate it and welcome also. It's been a great week and I'm excited to share with you what I have been working on this week. Um, as you can see, I am in a different location. I am in my son's bedroom. I've kind of been banished here. No, actually what happened is uh, we have company. My mother-in-law is visiting and they are downstairs where I usually film in the kitchen and things are just too too noisy to be able to film down there. They're making, uh, they're making cookies. My wife is making cookies today. Uh, we have a trunk or treat at, in our church parking lot this, uh, this evening and my wife's taking cookies. So, so there's just no way to, to be able to film down there. And of course, uh, they're visiting with my, with my mother-in-law. And actually my, my daughter came up uh, from, from Tucson to, to see her grandma. So uh, yeah, so we've got, we've got people around and it was just just felt better to to come up here where it was a little bit quieter to to film things are going great it's been a great week and i'm going to share with you what i've been stitching but first of all i want to respond to uh some comments that i that i received since my last since my last video uh first of all lilia asked me about my english garden sampler that i showed last week i mentioned in passing that i am the the section that I am stitching on, I am stitching from right to left instead of left to right. And Lily, Lilia asked me if it was difficult to make the switch uh, going from one direction to the other. And no, not really. Uh, the only thing that I had to change was I had to change the way I stitch in a column. So when I stitch from uh, left to right, I start at the top of the column and work down and I park in the upper right hand corner of the square. But since I'm going from right to left, I am working from the bottom of the column to the top and I'm parking in the lower left hand corner of the square. That's the only difference that I had to make, the only change that I had to make and it's not that big of a deal for me to, to do that. So. That's, so it, it's no big deal. Lisa asked me with my Amid Amish life, if I'm using all the called for colors, and yes, I am using, I am using all the DMC colors that, that the pattern calls for. And we'll be talking a little bit more about it uh, today. I brought it out and showed it, but I actually didn't work on it this week, and we'll talk about why in just a second. Um, basic nail stamping asked me about my autumn magic. She asked me if I was considering pulling it out again. No, I I am still um, I'm still not very interested in working on it, and I don't I don't I really don't plan on on ever bringing it out again. I I'm kind of I I think I've said this before. I'm kind of sour on on computer generated charts. And I don't think that's going to change. There was actually a, a heaven and earth chart that I was considering stitching um, because I thought it would be, it was a, a, a large chart, but it looked like the colors came in, they were more blocky, it was a little bit less confetti. And I thought, I thought, yeah, I think I could stitch that. I've seen somebody stitch it on Instagram and no, I'm not going to stitch it. I don't like the. I don't like just the, the part that they've stitched. I don't like how it's turning out. So, yeah, I don't. I don't foresee myself stitching any computer-generated charts. I, I'm still going to stitch full coverage, but I, I've decided I like full coverage charts, where the designer has actually designed everything rather than having a computer, um, convert a picture. And it's just because, it's just because by necessity, I don't think that you can, you can make a chart big enough 
or um, I don't think you can make a chart big enough or with enough colors to get rid of the 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 pixels that come about because because of the way the computer uh, converts the converts the picture into into stitches so yeah uh, Sandy asked me uh, she noticed that in in our other location I'm sitting in front of a piano she asked me if I played and yes I do I mean I took lessons on and off when I was uh, well my mom started me when I was like in second grade and I took lessons for a few years and then because of various reasons um, the the teacher that I had uh, she she couldn't teach me anymore and so um, mom tried to find another piano teacher she tried on and off for several years and I just never I did the, I we couldn't find a piano teacher that I liked uh, when I started high school she she refused to give up and she eventually got me found a teacher that that taught me while I was in high school and so I, I um, and so yes I learned how to play I've I've lost a lot of my ability to play and I was never I was never what you would consider to be like a virtuoso pianist I um, I and I've fallen out of practice I still can play I can I can play hymns I can play um, just about any I can play any hymn that's in the in the hymn book in our church's hymn book I can play anything uh, just by sight reading but uh, any anything else is is it kind of a struggle for me so she asked if I'd play I don't know that there would be a good way for me to record something like that so um, I, I don't think I'm gonna play a song for you Rick uh, male pointer asked me if I've ever considered uh, making my own design to stitch and I really haven't I I'm not very artistic I, I, I just first of, all, first of all I don't have any ideas of anything that I would like to design um, I've never seen something and thought yeah I want to I would like to make a pattern of that uh, second of all I'm not very artistic and uh, the, the only thing I can draw, draw is schematics <laughs> and that's not that's that's more engineering and then uh, that's more engineering type stuff than than artistic type stuff so I really haven't you know I guess that if I wanted to take the time and if I had an idea of something I could probably design something but uh, right now there's there's not enough time for me to put put in to, to, to try to do something like that um, yeah work kind of gets in the way and that's that's more important than than designing um, I had a Rodney Ann asked me about my pic the picture that that is behind me again um, that is a picture that was painted by my grandmother and I don't remember which one but there's a video I'll put a link to it down below where I talk about talk about that picture and talk about my grandmother so those are all the questions that I want to respond to. I haven't done this for a while, but I thought I'd talk about uh, a pattern that I would like to stitch. And I got this I got this pattern in the mail a couple of weeks ago, and I really like it, and I would like to stitch it sometime. And that is um, with the needle two by Lila Studio. Um, if you've been watching, you know that I stitched one of her patterns. I stitched Let Freedom Ring, which was the sampler of uh, Independence Hall in Philadelphia. And uh, I've seen this, I saw with the needle and really wanted to stitch it, but a lot of the borders in that piece were the same as the borders in uh, Let Freedom Ring, and that kind of turned me off because I didn't want to stitch those borders twice. Uh, she came back and redesigned the piece, and this is the result. She's added another scene up top and changed the borders. Uh, she changed the fabric color and added added a whole bunch of stuff, so it's 
it's wider and I really like it. I really like this this scene that is um, that is basically spanning four different squares. I really like that effect. And of course th there's alphabets and some some nice borders. I I would love to stitch this sometime. So there here's a here's a piece that I would love to stitch. Also when I gave my did my 4000 subscriber giveaway, I gave away this pattern. This is my copy of the Red House Sampler by Brenda Keys. And I've shown this a couple times and also as something that I would like to stitch. Uh, when I gave this away, I, 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 both times I've had people say, um, I would love to do a stitch along with you for this. And I've said, I would love to stitch this sooner rather than later. So I've decided I'm going to start this in the new year. I don't know that I'll st start it on New Year's Day uh, because I don't know, I have no plans to know what I'm going to be doing on New Year's Day yet. But I am going to start it as close to New Year's as possible. So if you would like to stitch this with me, uh, let's plan on starting it uh, the beginning uh, of January. And I will create a hashtag. We can use a hashtag on Instagram. I don't plan on on doing a Facebook group. Uh, we'll just we'll just use Instagram as the stitch along. So it'd be great to, uh, if any of you want to join me with this. It'd be great uh, for you to to join me. So let's plan on uh, the beginning of January for that. So last week I announced a giveaway, and it was a giveaway to give away a copy of this book, which is Farm Girl Vintage Two. It's a, a, a book by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet, and it basically is a bunch of sampler quilt blocks that you can use to, to make this quilt along with several other ideas for quilts. Thank you everybody for participating in my giveaway. I have held a drawing and I would like to announce the winner. The winner is Virginia Bodwin. I hope I pronounced your last name right, Virginia. Anyway, Virginia, congratulations. Thank you for so much for, for commenting. Virginia said she would like to make the quilt that's on the cover. And I, I hope that you enjoy making it. So Virginia, if you will uh, send me your address, you can either do that by emailing me. My email address will be in the comments below. Or you could also direct, uh, direct message me on Instagram. Uh, if you will send me your address, I will be glad to uh, send you uh, this copy of, a copy of this book to you. Thank you so much and congratulations. I've had a couple of people in their comments say they missed my charts. I kind of got, a, got out of the habit of, of sharing my charts with you, but I'll share a couple with you today. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is my stitch trend. This is kind of interesting because it matches what I think has happened. Um, I've had a couple of months where I haven't been able to stitch as many nights as I use as I as I have in the past, and also I haven't been pushing myself to stitch quite as much. And you'll see here in in my stitch trend that. Uh, the number of stitches that I put in has dropped off pretty dramatically, and that's that's why is I've had I've had a couple of of weeks when I haven't been able to stitch as much. Uh, I've taken a break, and also I I just haven't been pushing myself enough as much. Uh, this is another variation of that graph, except for the line be, being the showing the number of days that I have stitched in the month. It is shown that it shows the number of days that I haven't stitched in the month and that kind of shows the same thing. You'll see that the number of days that I haven't stitched is, uh, has risen quite a bit. However, things are going better than I thought. I'm kind of surprised by this. I'm going to show you my finish, my finish trend and I think I have and I have finished quite a bit more than I expected to be able to this year. It's because I finished a couple of, of really small designs and those those kind of add up a little bit. 
Uh, when we get to the end of the year, I'm going to, we'll do a review to show what I started and what I finished. Here's my start trend, and this this kind of surprises me too. I I don't I I find it hard to believe I've started eight projects, but that's what I've done. I've kind of been on a I've kind of started been starting things a lot more, and I'm up to. Uh, seven whips now which is getting towards the the upper end of what I would like to what I would like to be able to uh, what I would like to have but I'm not going to hold back uh, I finished the the winter garden the drawn thread winter garden and I feel right now I'm feeling like I really need to start autumn garden uh, part of that is Brenda, a handwork maniac. It's kind of her fault because she's stitching it right now, and and I've seen her pictures on Instagram, and it looks it looks really cool, and I kind of like to start that. I don't know exactly when I will, but I'm I'm kind of considering starting that before the end of the year, and anyway, we'll see how that goes. So let's get started on what I have been stitching this week. And last week I said the next piece in my rotation is um, is a mid homage life, but I also said that I really wanted to start something to celebrate my birthday. I uh, thank you everybody for your birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. Um, like I say, I did have a good birthday, and I decided that I was going to start something and. Here's what I decided to start. Uh, this is a design that was in the For the Love of Cross Stitch January 1995 issue. And it's called Santa's Enchanted Flight. So it's a picture of Santa on a reindeer showering gifts on a village below. This is a design by Donna Vermilion Giampa. Donna Vermilion Giampa. And like I say, um, actually, I have to confess, I started this once before, but the fabric that I had, I decided it was too dark. It was too dark a blue. I had a hard time finding the fabric that it was called for, which is, um, I don't remember, let me see. It was called, it, um, Blue Quaker cloth is what, what it was called for. And I couldn't find that anywhere. And I tried a piece of dark blue fabric and it turned out to be too dark. So um, I found a piece of fabric. I decided I was going to restart it on a lighter piece of fabric. And I found a lighter piece of fabric to stitch it on. So I really like this and I'm excited to stitch on it. And I've, I've had quite a bit of progress. Okay, so I'll show you how much I got done. The fabric that I am using is, is called, it's 28 count Jobalon, and it's a hand dyed fabric. Um, the color name of the, the fabric is Silent Night. It was dyed by a company called Dye Stitch Love. I, they aren't around anymore, so this, this isn't available anymore. But it's a it's a kind of a variegated blue. Uh, it's really pretty. I really like it. It's showing up on my camera. It's showing up a little bit darker than it is in real life. Uh, and I think it's going going to turn out really nice. Uh, this is how much I stitched. So basically, I stitched. Um, this is the village down below Santa, and I actually reach the top of the hill. So if you look at this, you can see uh, there's a there's a hill with houses on it and I've reached the top of the hill and I've stitched several of the houses and there's going to be more that show up. This basically comes down like this uh, and this is all stitched with one strand of floss uh, to make it look like it's more in the background. And I really, I, I kind of like that effect. 
because Santa's going to pop because he's going to be stitched with two strands of floss. And I really like how this is turning out so far. Um, I really like the, the houses and I'm excited to see more of this show up. If I have planned things correctly, I think if I stitched right, this is about the middle of the design and up here, there is a moon. So we'll show you that again. Uh, there's a moon right here. And I am hoping that if everything turns out right, that that moon is going to be up here in the lighter part of the fabric. And that it's going to look like the, the moon is uh, showering light down on top of Santa and the rest. So we'll see how that turns out. So yeah, I really enjoyed, like I say, I've really enjoyed working on it. I had two days this week when I wasn't able to stitch, otherwise I would have been able to stitch more, but I am happy where I am, and I, and I think that I'll, uh, well, I'll look forward to having this come back up in my rotation again. It's actually a pretty small design for me. I don't anticipate that it will take a huge, a long amount of time to stitch, because this is pretty small, and then there's just Santa, and then little pieces of toys. There's a lot of a lot of negative space in this piece. So, um, yeah, we'll see how far I get or how long it takes me, but I don't anticipate that it will take too long. Um, so that's what I've worked on this week. Uh, so that leaves me for what I'm going to be stitching this week. And as I mentioned before, uh, I am going to actually work on a mid Amish life. And of course, I'll show this again. This is a design that was in the uh, 1987 issues of Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. Um, it's also in this book, 101 Best Loved Designs for, from Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. Um, if you can find it, I had a commenter say, that it's really expensive if you can find it. And I'm aware of that. I bought this book when before it was in real, real demand, so I got it for a good price. And I am looking forward to, well, anyway. I am stitching it on 25 count Wedgwood Lugana. And I'm stitching it with the called for floss. And this is this is what it looks like right now. So hopefully, hopefully I can get a couple of diagonals in with this. I'd love to see more of the, the visitors coming. Um, and also I think I'm close to being able to see the the edge of the house over here so it's been a long time since I've worked on this and I'm looking forward to to working on it so yeah so that's what I've been what I'm hoping for uh, that's all that I have to share with you today as always, thank you for spending time with me. You, as always, you can follow me on Instagram if you want to see my daily progress. I am at Blitstitch on Instagram. I hope that you have a great week. As, and if you haven't, feel free to subscribe to my channel so that you can be aware of, of when I post my videos. Feel free to like this, this video if you liked it. And also, and also leave me a comment and I will be glad to answer any questions that you have. I hope that you have a great week this week and we will talk to you later. Goodbye.